is if there are items like posts on the theme, embed all the posts so they can be automated. Hmm? So instead of this just being static like that, we want to automate the posts so that it is whenever the user posts like the show. Do you understand? So we have a separate page. So let's find out what's going on over there. Okay, so there are some kind of data type that can be used. Something like our services, what we do, team members, products, blog posts, portfolio of projects, slideshow, testimonials, metrics, gallery, features or why choose us something like that those are kind of data type you want to integrate within this method okay so looking at our own projects here um the, there are other things you want to integrate also navigation is one of it you have very post for all of this so let's try first with uh, this. Well, we should always start with the main thing we want. Okay. So that we look at what is there. So looking at this one, for instance, there are some things here that we need to take cognizance of. This navigation right here. This in the navigation is true there is one navigation here for mobile there's another navigation here for the desktop okay so we'll integrate the two so how do we make the navigation to be solid hmm? now this navigation right here is listing categories you have one here that is going to home page right home page in page cartoon is forward slash url is going to forward slash so let's change this one to forward slash every website will have a home page right then now you have the categories here you see right excuse me now remember our goal is to make our work to be um, generic all these ones home is generic all sites will have home right all these ones are not generic. You know what generic means? Huh? No. No, that's not what generic means. Generic means when something can be used for more than multiple purposes, then it's generic. If it can be used for anything, it's generic. But once we go and put a menu that is policies on our website, that is mean we must do policies on that website. Right? But we don't want to have to limit the website. Okay, so we have to remove all these ones and make it so that the user can add whatever whichever one he wants to it. Do you understand? So now, if the user now wants politics, he will add politics by himself. If he wants tech, he will add tech by himself. Do you understand? Yes. So we are going to clear out these ones. I'm going to play out this one. I'm, I'm leaving one. So I'm just going to leave one. But this is what we are going now. Look this. Look at this. Um, critical. Okay, this is how to embed a widget. There are several uh, functions inside page that allow you to embed in your code so that your code can get light. Hmm? So to do anything like that, look at this critical, right? You come to this, you look at this settings icon, you click on this settings icon, it brings up some settings that you can use inside your code. So one of it is the disable with a week, which is if you don't want your code 
to be editable from this part you disable with a wig okay the other thing is embed widgets so you click on the system will die So you, what you want to do is to embed the widget. Now, whenever you see something that looks like a post, just like I identify with you the other time, you can look for the widget that does something similar to it. Hmm? Then you now use it to bring up the functionality of that thing itself. So these are politics. That these are categories. Patreon has a category widget that lists all the categories that are on that site. Do you understand? So you now embed that into this one. So that instead of listing the ones that come with the theme, it will now list the one that come with the uh, in, that is inside the website with the code that come with the theme. Do you understand? So now this is category. I'm going to look for a widget that that displays category inside this website. So I'll click on embed widget. I'll look at select widget, which is application. The widget that this category is application category. Look at it. Application category show all. What do you need the assistant for right now? So you use application category show all. Hmm? This is the um, widget that displays category inside this one. So now what is this kind of tell you what to do with uh, the code? Like how to embed this. You copy this one into your code to the part of the code where you want to uh, to update so I'll just come here this is this part is where I want to update to to the category widget so I'll paste this here I'll start here and at the end I'll paste this one to, to indicate that this is the end of where I want the categories to be listed okay so I'll now change this one to article title this one post link Now, don't cram all these things. Okay, you don't have to cram it. Um, all these things are here. Variables to use in content. Hmm? There are a number of variables to use. Look at article description, article title, hmm? article URL, cover photo. Those are the variables available. Can you see them? So, uh, once you have all this one set, you can now save. Now, this is more like a shorthand way of doing it. Remember, this is just one code. I deleted like how many? I deleted like six. I left just one. 
this is a shorthand code it is going to replicate this code in as many places as it's needed do you understand it's going to try to replicate this code once it discovers there is a category on the side it will gain the point if there is no category it will not show anything do you understand so that is how this works so this is this it is adding the link to that category this is showing the name of the category do you understand uh -huh. so let's do the same thing here it's the same thing we want to do here so category this home is going to forward slash forward slash is the URL to home page in page tablet. Do you understand? Then all these categories, I'm going to delete, I'll leave just one. So I'll use that one to embed uh, my widget. Which widget is it? Which widget am I going to embed? Yeah? What is the name of the widget? Application category show all. This is it. That widget displays all the categories on a site. So what am I going to do? I will look. There's another form here actually. We missed this form. You know, uh, we're going to come back to it. But really, don't let us come back to it. The action to search is forward slash search. You get to know it as soon as you begin to use all those things know what to do you don't you may not even need to go back to be looking for url up and down the action for search this is a search form the action for search is false as search the method is get right now the attributes in this one is uh name attributes is q for this one so that's that also once you know all those things it may not even take so much time for you to to do it so now looking at this space i want to copy this and paste it at the beginning of where i want my category to display then i copy the end here i put it at the end of where i want my category to display and i change the name of the category to article what Article what? Article what? Look here. Article title. Then this one is post link. You can use article URL like this one. But post link is better. So then you save. Don't try to cram anything on all these things you get to you get to know it with time mm -hmm. that's why i'm showing you where you can get the information so that even if you don't know it see it's showing posts we display here when they become available do you know why it's showing like that because there is no category i've not added any category to the site but you don't want it to be showing like this now when somebody does not have category mm -hmm. If there's a better way to do it you can make it show you can make it at least display something there that would make the user that would be more friendly so what are we going to do you're now going to that is what is displayed here you see here it says um, There are kind of parameters you're supposed to use in your posts, but there are some that are important that you must use in all posts, in all your posts. One is add a new post so that it will display the number of posts you want by default. Look at this. Uh, let me show you. Okay, let me just continue so you get to understand with time. Okay, so let me show you uh, what that does so you set parameters by coming to click here parameters
it will bring up something like this the parameters so you need to set something like add a new post you need to click on select parameter and click on add a new post hmm? I'm using add a new post zero because this is widget zero okay do you understand so in the parameter value it says set to number of posts you want displayed by default do you know what that means this will ensure there's a dummy post shown whenever the user have not added any content so if i wanted uh where is it this place now is not showing anything if I wanted it to show two, at least if there is no, if some nobody have added category, show dummy three dummy categories, or show just show, show three links there. Mm -hmm. So I will say add a new post three. Okay, then save. now let's try again let me try to preview this again so that you can see it Okay, so um, I've done it here. I need to do it. I need to do it here as well on this one. Okay, mm -hmm. this is actually the main menu. Add a new post. What should I put in the value? What should I put in the value? Three. Good. So let's preview again. It should work now. Good. You see now? Instead of just showing nonsense, it's like it's showing me a link to create a new category. Hmm? So that's exactly what you want to do when you are creating it. So now that we have this, we have the home, we have so if you create, click here to create a new category, you can now add the name of the category you want to create. Do you understand? Next, let's go here. Uh, do you think we should go and practice the one we have done before? Or we should con let's finish this part so then you now go and practice the ones we have done before. Okay? So we are just we are done with the menu up here. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to uh, the footer. Let's go to footer. What is here to edit? Look at this menu over here. Hmm? Look at this menu. We need to update this menu to something. So how do we create menu? Which widget do we use for menu? We use we need to embed the widget for it. So let's click on embed widgets. The widget for menu is Ayola menu underscore menu. Okay. So you look for on the list of the widgets.
taking so long. There's no internet. So I was um, clicking on embed widgets. Okay, so you select what widget did I say you are going to look for? What's the widget for men? Is Ayola men? I just said it. Now. So we want to embed this. We want to automate this menu right here instead of having all these about us advertise careers subscribe blah 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 right we want it to display just the menu that the user have added do you understand do you understand so on this part i'm going to just like the other one i'm going to delete everything i'll leave just one as a template let me delete all this one So I copy this part to the start of where I want my menu to start to the end this to the end of where I want my menu to start then here I use now for menu it's not article title you are going to use you use option name and here you use URL okay so you click on save there are two men there second menu here one that has travel blah 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 so we we'll do the same we have to embed a different menu, another menu for it so we'll do this Ayola menu where is it So once this saves, What's wrong with this internet?
Okay, so we are integrating another menu here. Um, so the first menu is in place. The second menu, let's also delete everything here. I'm going to copy this, the part of the second menu, and the end. Then this, I change it to option name. This one, I change it to URL. So I save. Then I come here to check. I just do the future now. So looking at this, look at this, you will see this, right? It's not showing dot three dot, right? It's telling you it's integrated successfully. Now we have not been testing all these things. So let me save this again. So let's save it. This is also triple right? Um, so let's try to add a category here. Post a new category. Politics. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> so, so let's go back. See, it's not showing how to put it in, right? Okay. So the same thing, let's add, let's add the menu. It's not clicking. This is not clicking. If this is not clicking, it means something is wrong with our code. There's actually something we are supposed to put here. On click, we use this Iola Spotlight. Then, um, so on click, we use this attribute in our code. Let's click on save. So it's working now, right? So it's giving us the option to add menu and all that. So I'm gonna click on add the link option. So let's add the home button. Then I can add contacts. By the way,
You see? Hmm? See it now? But you see it's showing the same menu. Hmm? Because once you add menu here, it will show the default main navigation. That's what it's showing. But you can we can make this first one the main navigation and change the menu for this one. Now there are different kinds. So how can you change menu? You use uh, parameters to change it. So I'll click on parameter. I use parameter and I'll use I'll change the menu name for the second one. There's a parameter called menu name. Menu name one. Remember it's for the uh, for the widget one, the second widget, right? I changed menu one, menu name one to uh, what am I changing it to? I can give it any name I want. Hmm? I can just call it my menu or something, right? But it's always good to use the name. It's always good to use the name that is already inside page pattern. Just like Let's go to navigation and look at the names. default navigations, right? The default navigations are complete as well. One of it is a... This is main nav. That's the main navigation for the site. Then you have post category menu, responses, system settings, main menu, footer menu, editor, account options. Okay? So... Um, I think there is more. So there, there is this one, my account of this is the second one I also like to do. So it comes with login button, sign, uh, sign in button, sign out button, and all that. So we want to add it to the page. So let's change this second menu to the login. Uh, to do my accounts, yeah. so I click on save and uh, let's preview. Let's preview. Where is my preview? This is it. okay. So, those ones have men who are formed with thing by default. Look at it now. Mm -hmm. So, now you have several. Any options available. So, we have many of change password, blah blah blah. So that's awesome. Um, so that's all with menu. Do you have any questions? If you have any questions, you can just. I think we are done with the whole footer and header. Everything here is set, sorted, right? This one can be changed during test update, right? This one can be changed test update. This one can be changed using navigation. This one can be changed, can be added automatically. This one can be changed, right? Uh, now we go to the. Uh, the what is it called now? Now let's go to other pages, to the other theme pages, home page, let's go back to home page. We are done with this main thing. When you are done with this one, the next place to come to is here. Let's click on edit on the home page. So the ones we have edited on the theme is there. We now start from top to bottom. Okay, this one's we are done with this one. I mean this one. This is a post as it is right now, right? So 
to do this we come to this and then post for post real post we use widgets called application article show all so we we'll really say select widget application article show all this one click on it and uh, you then you go to code view now for this one it's very important to go to a code editor you know we've not been using code editor since let's go to code editor so that it can be easy How many posts is this showing? This is one post. This is another post. This is another post. This is another post. This is another post. Is another post. One, two, three, four, five posts here. Hmm? Can you see five posts? One, two, three, four, five. Right? So we need to replace it with something that until when a user had a post it should just be showing some random text. so when the user had a post it will show the right one okay so um the i said we use article show all right so article show all has plenty variables we can use there are plenty can you see them so but uh, we're just going to be using the ones we need so some of these things i will not but on all what is what is the same for everything is that the stats of your of your widget test you must include it here like this is where i want to start from my widget start here right my widget hands and here okay so now begin to look for the post one after the other this is post one right this is the first post so i look for things inside that can be changed my first post should uh, I'm going to wrap something around my. This is where my first post is, right? So I'm going to wrap something around it, which is this. This one too. Don't cram it. Uh, I'm going to wrap this around my first post. You see and you see this it starts with this i end with this for my first post my first post is from here to here do you know how i know where my first post starts and ends the magical ai blah 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 this is the link is going to this is the background email blah 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 okay so this is where my first post starts, this is where my first post ends, right? Now, within this, within this, I will now begin to change the content. This is the title, right? Huh? I'll change it to article title. Hmm? Well, I'll now put zero in front of it. Okay? This is date, right? This is month, date month. I use article date M. Hmm? This is day, right? Article date D. 
Hmm? Mary, this is capital letter. It's a small letter. Don't cram it. Hmm? You can always come back here to find out. You know, this, there's a video. In this video, you can always use it for reference. Okay? You don't cram it. You will get to know it with time. And uh, yeah, everything I'm using, they are here. That article dates. Can you see article date D? Article date M. Article blah blah blah. All those things. Don't mind this. Uh, this M is capital letter. So everything is there. You don't have to cram. Then article. Date Y. It's capital Y. Okay. So then you have this place. This is the link the post is going to. You change it to post link. You see, post link is here. Uh -huh. Can you see it? But you don't have to cram it, it's there. So just for you. There are several things you can use. So this one is the picture, the background image for the this particular post. So this is how you do for posts. You put document URL URI. Then crop to fit URL equals now um, let me tell you why we are doing this right this is the picture that came with the thing hmm? that picture sometimes some things for that particular place, it must be a particular width and height. But whenever a user is adding a post, they may just add a picture, maybe it's bigger or smaller or something. This is to automatically crop the picture the user is has posted to the size of the picture that is there already. Do you understand? So we are using the picture that this is the picture that the user has created. But we are now using a parameter, we are not passing it a query string to it, like your parameter is like crop to fit URL. So it's going to look at this picture and automatically crop this one to this one. Do you understand? To crop this to this. Do you understand? That is what this is telling the system. If you don't use this, it will still work. Because the picture may just be bigger or smaller. Do you understand? Yeah, so that's that. So we are done with this. We can... Just for you to see how it looks, we can now... Let's try it. Post will be displayed here when they become available. Remember, it showed that before. So, what do we do? We use the parameter B, add a new post. So, we come to, let's close this one, we are done here. So, we come here and we select parameter. Mm -hmm. So, it's going to bring up the parameter here. So, we come here, we look at add a new post. How many? Ah, why is it three or why is it two? It must be the number of posts that is displaying here. How many posts did we count when we started? How many posts was displaying in that home page when it started? Five. They counted five. Or should we go back to it? Let's come back to the posts. This is one. This is one. This is post one. This is post two. This is post three. 
2 equals 4 is 5. So this one must be 5. So let's try again. So, but see this, you shall see that it's showing this, right? Don't mind the way it's showing because we did not have more, we have not finished, right? That's why it's showing this one like five times, okay? So, this is showing this one now. Let's go, let's move on to the next uh, thing. So, we are done with the first, which is this one. For the second post, we do the same thing. Hmm? Let's just use copy and paste. But the difference is now that instead of zero, we use one. Hmm? We use one. One is the signifier for the second post. Zero is the first. One is the second one. So this we do the same thing that we did here. We did it over here. So the title we use a uh, article title. Then in front of you, what did we put? What should we put there? This one. This one. Oh, all this we are supposed to, in all these things we are supposed to use zero, zero. Both. Mine. So in this one as well, we are going to be using. Let me just copy and paste. Look here, it's very important. I'll use one, one, one here. Then this one is post link. So this one too needs a one. Okay, so this one has to be one. So this is it. We are done with the second one. Let's preview now. See that? Mm -hmm. Changed, changed. Mm -hmm. Remain this one, this one, and this one. Okay? Yes. Is it getting interesting? We've been on the same team for how many hours now? Since 9 o'clock. This is second, this is second hour. But as soon as you know all these things, you get faster. You can get faster with it. Do you understand? So now this one is next, the third one. So we come to the third one. We use this. This one is going to what? Two. This one, two. So. What is this one? Yep. So the same thing here will come here. We paste it here. Change this to what? Two. So we change this to what? Tight, so then we 
is so. Look here. Then two, two, two. Right. Then all this one. Let's put um, post it. The dog will go away now. See? But then we need to change this. So there is also you can use category category name. Zero two. So we go in one. So come and do the remaining one. mess up because they are not this is not the same with this so you can't just copy it you do it exactly the way it is yeah. mm -hmm. you don't know how to use the keys right This is shift and this is it. You want it to do this? Mm -hmm.
you start with that? What do you end with? This one. At this thing at the end of it, is it supposed to be there? Then, when you start with this, are you not supposed to end with something at the end of it? Look at this one, is this is not one at the end of it. And so, when you do this, you are supposed to do something at the end of it here. No, at the end of this one.
That's a cool one. Is there a typical Y? I'm sure that's called Y. Open your eyes now. Check the one on top. Mm -hmm. Check the one you wrote. You've not seen the difference. Again, go and test it. Copy it and paste it inside again. Copy everything. Control A. Command A. Command A. Yeah, command C. Check the preview here. Watching, right? <laughs> Still refreshing. Picture is not showing. Hmm? Picture is not showing. Go and check your code. Mm, what's it on here? Check it. 
check the code you use to display the picture check it against the one on top there mm -mm. don't touch anything Check the variable you use now. See variable you use. Document URL. What? Huh? Check the one on top. Is it the same thing? Copy and run inside again. Command. No, you have changed that post link. Oh. No, see the post link. You deleted the underscore in the post link. This post link. You have entered A here again. Press Command A. Press Command C. Showing now, right? Hmm? Yes. I'll do the last one. Put the last one. Was in the list. This that was the way the one on top two is now. This two. Hmm? You don't need to worry yourself about that one. Just press this one and continue what you want to do. Just find out where it's beginning and put the right thing there. How it's supposed to be. Okay. So put the end in on put, put the end in there. Don't put it now, you will forget. Is it three that is supposed to be there?
this again. So we've done this, we should do this, and this, and this. So, 